Hello everyone, I did not expect to make a video on this, but I figured I should. Um, <laughs> this is another, this is a different kind of video. I didn't, um, plan on making this, but, um, I saw this, um, what's it called? I saw this article, it's actually from this year, which is nice, and I figured, my sister's talking way too. Once again, oh my gosh, <laughs> I, my sister, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, she, I thought she was closing her door after I like literally just told her not to because it's like you have to I close my door so I can record a freaking video <laughs> and now she's yelling at me she's talking way too fucking loud I'm sorry anyways let's go on with our video um I, what was I saying before um <laughs> sorry I'm still laughing at what happened um but I saw this and I was like, you know what? I know a lot about the series. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I know everything, but it's kind of one of those fan things where it's like, let's see how much you know. Like for instance, I took a BuzzFeed quiz. Those are fun to take. BuzzFeed isn't all good in my opinion, but that's not really what this video is about. Um, but they have fun quizzes. That's pretty much the only thing I will, I do with BuzzFeed. Anyways. Um, like with Nirvana and they're like oh like where it's a the lyrics to songs and I was like got full credit it wasn't even hard <laughs> um anyways I'm a huge fan of the show it's probably my ultimate favorite tv show it's a good example of like of clean comedy that's actually funny and it's family friendly it's not you know uh what's the word crude but I like crude <laughs> at the same time. So I figured I would take this and see what I know about it. Let me scroll down. Jeez, why is it so slow? Work. Piece of... Sorry, this is not going so well. <laughs> Let's scroll. Um, so... Jeez. Okay, this is number one that we probably didn't know. Um, CBS didn't think Americans would buy that Lucy was married to a foreign man. I kind of, I kind of think I've heard about this one. And CBS approached Lucille Ball with the offer of turning her popular radio show, My Favorite Husband, into a television show, which happened a lot, except there would be a lot of changes to the radio show. It wasn't really like a exact adaptation. Um, it never was. Like, if you guys have heard of the old show the Goldbergs not the new one there was like a totally different one it was based off of a radio show anyways she's agreeable with one condition that her real life husband Desi Arnaz would be cast in the role of her spouse played on the radio by Richard Denning the network balked there was no way that American viewers would accept average housewife Liz Cooper her character's name on the radio series being married to a foreign man um never mind the fact that losing uh, Lucy and Desi had been married for more than a decade. Such a mixed marriage was unbelievable. I think I heard about that. Um, uh, this show broke so many like different barriers, and they did so many different things that shaped just not American sitcoms, but television as a whole. Lucy and Desi had to take their show on the road to convince the network brass. Yeah, I remember... Um, that they did like little skits and people really liked it. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, sorry. The show broke ground in several ways simply because the Arnezes wouldn't move to New York. Lucille and Desi want, well, I, don't know, I don't really know what this is, uh, wanted to work in Los Angeles near their home and their new baby daughter Lucy, spelled with an IE. But in 1951, the majority of television shows, sorry if you can't read this, um, broadcast from New York and that's where sponsor Philip Morris wanted the show to originate as well. The U.S. wasn't aware of television from coast to coast. Shows broadcast live on could only be transmitted so far 
As a result, such shows were preserved on kinescopes, a movie camera aimed at a TV monitor that recorded the show in negligible quality and shipped to different stations. Um, I know it takes place in New York. That's really weird. Um, so I don't know why it's a big deal for it to... Oh, uh, their biggest cigarette. Oh, uh, I guess... They wanted the best TV quality. Oh, okay. I know this. I I don't know that this is how um, this was. Uh, what's the word? This came about. I knew that uh, Dizzy suggested the show be filmed with three cameras, like a stage play. Um, and they have, you know, they would... It was a film series. I know that, but I didn't know that that's why they had to do that. It was because of the, the horrible quality. And they were like... And they got Carl Freund. I don't know if you're saying that right. Um, if you guys don't know that, he's the guy that worked... He was a cinematographer for a really good silent film from Germany called The Last Laugh. He... That's a really beautiful film. You should check that out. It's just it's it's more like psychedelic, like psychological stuff, like dramas began. Um, they were the fir okay, and then it says Lucille and Desi were the first millionaire TV stars. They, so they owned a hundred percent of the series. That's awesome. Only Lucy was allowed to make fun of Ricky's fractured English. Yes, she she was the only one that um, did that. After a few episodes were filmed, it became an unwritten rule that only Lucy could ever folk pun at her husband's pronunciation problems. The writers had allowed other characters to make remarks, but in each case, the joke was met with stony silence from the audi st studio audience. For some reason, it seemed cruel when other anyone other than Lucy mucked Ricky's English. Well, we knew that. She you know, was the only one that did it. Um, smoking was required on camera. Well, that's probably has to do with the advertisement. I Love Lucy almost never made it to the air because CBS had trouble securing a sponsor. Finally, tobacco giant Philip Morris signed on at the 11th hour. As a result, lots of smoking was featured in each episode, and the name Philip Morris was worked into the dialogue whenever plausible. There was, however, one small problem. Lucy Ball was a Chesterfield girl. Oh, yeah. In the past, she was... If you guys don't know anything about Lucy Ball, she was a model um, in her early days. Like, she was a blonde model. She was the Chesterfield girl. She was on, like, all the freaking advertisements. So, yeah. There was, however, one small problem. Lucy Ball... Oh, yeah. She eventually overcame this little horror by having a stag... A stag... A A stagehand stuff... On any on camera Philip Morris packets full of Chesterfield cigarettes ha <laughs> and she also I think she was the the girl let me see yeah she was on the poster I think she really was the Chesterfield girl see I don't know if you can see she really was um And then she eventually was Philip Morris. Philip Morris, sorry. Um, William Frawley was far from the first choice to play Fred Mertz. Um, I didn't know it was Gail Gordon that she wanted to work with. I know that she worked with him on The Lucy Show, I believe. She had other shows, too. Um... And, okay, so I guess Frawley had a drinking problem. And then now it's like he's, um, he's so good. Like, I can't imagine anybody else. I couldn't imagine Gail Gordon being, um, not that I hate Gail, Gail Gordon. It's just, I couldn't imagine, um, him, um, uh, being... Hold on, let's start my second cup of coffee. <laughs> um, I couldn't imagine him being Fred. They're so different. Mm. 
Dorse Ziffel. And I love Vivian Vance. Like, how could she be anything but Ethel? Um, but burn up in a day. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I just signed on to play Blanche. Oh. So she's playing Blanche on the Burns and Allen show and was unavailable. Barbara Pepper was a personal friend of Balls and to have worked in. F what the frick? This is so slow. I'm sorry. Worked in films. Let me adjust my screen. It's so ridiculous. Let's try that. There we go. Sorry. Um. Oh, wow. Okay. I Love Lucy had already. Oh. Pepper. Wait, how is her name Pepper? Did she call her Pepper? Okay. Pepper was the right age and body type to play Ethel. But she was also a known alcoholic, and the network nixed her after Frawley was hired. Two heavy drinkers, and the main cast was too risky. I Love Lucy had already gone into early rehearsals by the time. Director Mark Daniel saw Vivian Vance. I knew this. I knew that she was found in a play. Um and recommended her to Arnez. Pepper did play background pa Oh, they put, they didn't put a real name? Why would you put, no, who, not everyone watches Green Acres, y'all. Sorry if you're a fan, but like, I don't know that name. Put her real name. Jeez, that's why I didn't understand. To play background paper, the papers characters in several I Love Lucy episodes and we're going to land the role of Doris. I knew this one. The merchants despise one another off camera. I knew that. I knew that they didn't get along. Um, Vivian Mance was 22 years younger um, and resented having such an old poop play her spouse. Frowley responded in kind, referring to her variously as the sack of doorknobs or just plain pitch. Wow. Ah, it's always hard for me to read stuff about them not getting along. I just spit on myself. I <laughs> Jeez. Um, my throat is, like, dry all of a sudden. I don't think this is going to work. Like, the hot copy is going to help me. Um, but all the animosity was strictly behind the scenes. They weren't not savvy enough to, um, jeopardize their jobs. And wow, even the little kid, little Ricky, didn't know, um, uh, had no idea that the things were less than cuddly between the two actors. Until years after it ceased, I didn't know that part about that story. They hid it pretty well. <clears throat> a pretty good biopic. Um, I think it's called. And you guys know me with biopics. Wait, what? No, no. Sorry. Um. I'm looking for the biopic. It was pretty decent and had Rachel York play Lucille Ball. It was, it was, she was okay. Um, she wasn't bad. Biopic. What was it called? It was like something so simple. Wait, there's going to be a new one? We just found something out. Kate Blanchett. Or Blanchett. Aaron Sorkin. No, I wanted the one. My voice is so... Mm. <clears throat> it's the morning, so my throat is messed up, apparently. Um, Rachel York. Oh, it was just called Lucy. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. It was pretty good. I found it online. The guy that played Desi wasn't too bad, either. <clears throat> okay. She wasn't bad. I thought it was pretty good. Um, there's still a biopic about, um, I think they're still talking about it, Judy Garland, but, um, who knows if that ish is going to happen. I personally don't really see, um, Anne Hathaway as Judy Garland. Um, she kind of looks like her and she can sing, but she can't sing like that. We already had kind of like a biopic anyway. We had Me and My Shadows. 
I think that's good enough. And Judy, what's her last name? Mother Ever. A girl named, a woman named Judy something. What's her last name? It wasn't Judy Dench. It was Judy something. It wasn't Judy Dench, right? Sorry, I'm like off track. Judy Dench. Was it her? No, that's a completely different person. It was Judy David Davis. That was her name. Judy Davis played Judy Garland. Wow. She even kind of looks like her now. She's 62? I'm sorry, I'm learning things. Has she been doing anything else? Dang, Judy Davis. Look at Judy Davis. She was in Barton Fink. Oh, yeah, she's still working. Good for her. Anyways, back to the video. Um, Disney Eye lifts in his shoes in his love seat. I know he was he was smaller than um Lucille Ball was five seven, so she would only um he would only be two inches taller than her in real life. Damn. I didn't know that. Okay, I'll have to admit, I didn't really know that he was wearing things. Cuban with a Latin male's pride. Taller than his wife. Wow. Arnaz flatly rejected a scene that involved Ricky cheating on his taxes. Well, that's good. I didn't know that. American Dream. Wow. Yeah, he was pretty. He was very patriotic. Because, um. Play it and ask the writers to remove it. He didn't want the audience to think that Ricky would cheat the U.S. government. Yeah. He was very patriotic. He left communism for crying out loud. Um. The candy lady was a big dipper in real life. Wait, what? Oh. Job switching has been a long time fan favorite. That was the chocolate factory. Um. Or the candy factory. Uh, practically the scene where L Lucy and Ethel are stuffing their faces and clothing with chocolates while trying to keep up with a speedy conveyor belt. The previous scene featured Lucy hand dipping chocolates with a real life dipper. And stage manager Herb Brower found at Seas Candies. Oh, that's the best chocolate. I'm sorry. It's like it be in my opinion it beats Hershey. It's just it's so perfect. It's so perfect and Hershey is really good too. Hershey's a very close second. Now you know how I feel where I stand on chocolate. <laughs> That's where I stand, everyone. Work! Oh my gosh, now this isn't working. I can't read more. Oh my god. Freaking work! Amanda Milligan had never seen I Love Lucy. That's a sin. I'm joking. <laughs> but Brower hi hired her anyway. He thought her deadpan expression would make her the perfect straight woman for Lucille to react to. That's perfect. Um, when the cameras were rolling, Milligan hauled off and smacked Lucille so hard that a ball feared her nose had been broken. Despite her pain and ringing, her ball didn't call for a cut because she did not want to have to do another take. Yeah, she was very, um, like, she took a direction very well. She she would even say like, "Hey, that light's bad," or she would tell you. During a break in, she'd be a good director, I think. During a break in filming, Lucille asked Milligan, "So, how do you like working in show business?" And unsmiling Milligan, who'd spent eight hours per day for the past thirty years putting swirls on chocolates, replied, "I've never been so bored in my life." <laughs> wow, Lucille was too stressed to appreciate the humor of one of her most popular episodes. Oh my gosh, the Vitamita Vegemin. Oh wow. She was oh yeah, I read I read about this. I think I already heard this. She's too nervous and worried about messing up her lines. Um, to appreciate the humor because you have to say it. Ball was many things, including a great physical comedian. She was. But one thing she was not was an improviser. No. She said she wasn't really a comedian in real life. She had script supervisor Maury Thompson made made up and placed offside in front of her voting holding up her lines. There were no cue cards on the Isle of Lucy set. 
much like a commercial setting. By the way, that stuff Lucy was pouring out of the spoon was apple pectin. Okay. Because the show is filmed in front of an audience, they hesitated to yell cut and reshoot scenes. Ooh. Oh, the occasional blooper is better. Paint the furniture, <laughs> reupholster the old furniture. Why would you paint it? So apparently they, um, what's it called? They just, it was, they were afraid to let go cut because they were trying to, I guess, that makes sense because you don't want to create a weird, um, like, a bad experience for the audience. Lucille's pregnancy created panic behind the scenes. During season two, Ball discovered she was pregnant. Um, yeah, and they, she suffered a lot of miscarriages. They were also concerned about the fate of their hit series. Other than the late 1940 sitcom Mary Kay and Johnny, which also started real life, married couple, the visibly pregnant female had never starred on a TV series. It would be impossible to conceal Lucille's condition because, as Desi told the network, she got as big as a house when she was carrying Lucy. Eventually, the network agreed to write Ball's pregnancy, which was a good, um... Which was a good one. Why would a Catholic priest be there? Um, so you couldn't say pregnant on um, TV. You had to say expecting or, as Ricky says, expected. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a good episode. Little Ricky and Desi Arnaz Jr. are born on the same day. say mm. oh yeah so they decided the script writers were like okay um you're they were gonna say they said they're gonna have a boy and then so when she had a boy uh ricky said or sorry <laughs> Desi said, Lucy followed your script, ain't she something? That's funny. Um, nice. Oh, yeah, I read about this. She suffered in that grape jump, stomping. Oh, she nearly drowned. I didn't know that part. Dang. She almost drowned her. She exasperated. <laughs> I knew she liked him a lot. Um, oh yeah, he never did the same way twice as bits, but she was like, let's do rehearsals. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wow. The longest laugh on the show lasted 65 seconds. I didn't know that. Arnaz requires as much realism as possible no matter the cost or difficulty. <laughs> oh, wow. So he, like, if they were going to catch a fish, they had an actual fish shipped in. Wow, he was, like, very into the detail. Damn, the uh-oh lady heard in the studio audience was Lucille's mom. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Um, a woman in the audience could be hearing, um, uh-oh, that was Dee Dee Ball. She went to everyone, I think. I think her mom was at every single show. Anyways, hopefully this was interesting. I thought it was. I learned some things I didn't know. <sighs> if you guys want to read it yourselves, because I didn't read the whole thing, because I'm sorry. 
um, let's scroll to the top. It's on mentalfloss.com. I randomly found it just today. It's from this year. Um, if I can go up all the way, it's by Kara Kovalchik. Is that how you say it? I'm so sorry if I say your name wrong. Um, if you're watching this, um, my last name is constantly, it, it's butchered too, even though it's literally been Americanized and it's spelled the way you pronounce it. Like, it's phonetically, I guess you could say, spelled wrong. Anyways, you guys, the Disneyland video will be going up. It should be going up. I don't know. I'm in this, I don't know when I'm going to edit it. Um, I'm probably going to come home and edit it because I'm not going to be at Disneyland all day. I haven't gone to Disneyland yet, but there's going to be a vlog. So I will see you guys in the future and have a great weekend. I love you very much. Bye-bye.